was it a sea lion? Or Listen, I just yeah, start attaching like, cords and then I'm like, we'll, so guys, we'll see what happens. Almost back. Vacation. Seems to work better when Drew's looking down. This is harder than I anticipated. Okay, can you? <laughs> this is the furthest again. That's going to be the like That's perfect. That's All perfect right. right now. All right, Drew, I think we're ready to go. What? I like your lights when you're ready. Perfect. Okay, hello, 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 everyone. We are the crew of Puget Sound Underwater Live, and we are going to be going live today right off of Elliott Bay Marina. We are here by Myrtle Edwards Park. And a quick introduction to your crew today. I'm Dylan. To my right, we've got Avery manning our underwater ROV. And we have as well Callie. And just outside, if I can get her, we have Sonal. And we are very excited to be here today. So we are going to be doing our underwater live stream. Drew is going down with his camera and he is the executive director of Made in Puget Sound, Drew Collins. We'll be going to him in just a few moments. We'd encourage you guys, if you have any questions, to please use the chat function on YouTube and ask those. We'll do our best to answer them. And now we're going to have Drew share just a few words and we're going to switch off to him right now. All right, Drew, can you hear us? question in the chat Ooh. one viewer is wondering why is it so green around you looking at the r5 right now it is very clear Your camera view is very clear. Okay, the lighting is perfect, right? Yes, the lighting is perfect and the colors are vibrant. Oh my god, beautiful down here. There's some out. Picture on your camera is excellent. We're getting a lot of starfish at the moment. We do. Leather? Leather? Yeah, a leather star. So what I'm looking at right now is a combination of bulk kelp and some uh, uh, bronze leaf kelp, I believe it's called. Those are the roots of bulk kelp. And what happens is, virgins will usually eat the Are those from Octopi? 
So do we think is that a crab bitten? Is that what yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah. So we have Dylan piloting the fish right now. So Drew, <laughs> when you're ready, go ahead. Look at that kelp. Yes, we can. Wow, are those eggs. Are those eggs, Drew? On the kelp, are those fish eggs? Tube snout eggs? Tube snout eggs, wow. Nice. Can you zoom in a little bit more so we can get a view of the individual eggs? Can you zoom in a bit more so we can see the individual eggs? That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, we can see the fish in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Drew, do you know when the spawning season, how long that typically lasts for tube snouts? We can see the brown rockfish, yes. I've lost you. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Okay, uh, we've I, lost I you, Drew. You. Oh, we're back. Never mind. Oh my gosh, there is a copper rockfish. It's a copper rockfish. Yeah, I'm gonna move out of your way. All right. Okay, so it looks like we have a copper rockfish at the moment on Drew's camera. It looks like we just lost it. But these are very common in the Pacific Coast, right around here. Can range. Ooh, what was that? You think... California sea cucumber. And on that rock, on that boulder. Oh yeah, Titans. Oh, that's a nudibranch. Is that a lemon? I don't know. I'm not good at identification. Do you know what that is? That nudibranch? Oh wow, look at that link card. Oh, yeah. All right. So right now on the fifth fish, we have a beautiful picture of a link cod. Drew, we currently have a link cod with the fifth fish. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have a link. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Ooh. see that link cod? Beautiful. Okay. Better at this. Okay. Ooh. All right, we've got a beautiful link cod. I cannot tell if that's a male or a female. 
And those can be like four or five feet long, right? Yeah, they can be up to 60 inches. So yeah, four, even six, five, six feet. Yeah. And they can be pretty big too. They can get to like 120 pounds. There we go. Wow. All right. So what you guys are looking at. Yes, we can. the Latin name? Ooh, it's okay. This is going to be a fun one. It's Oxalibius Oxa Pictus. <laughs> and I may be mispronouncing that, but that is my best stab. Swimming away. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, is that a, uh, team? Black Eyed Goby, right there. Black Eyed Goby. Yeah, we can see that. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm guessing it's because they have black eyes. <laughs> That fish is good. Yeah? I am currently right above Drew to his left. Yeah, right now you guys can see our fish view. So the fish is our underwater drone. The fish is doing pretty good. We're above you right now, Drew. And with Dylan right here, you can see he has these nifty VR goggles on. And so while we have Drew problem solving um, in the Fujit Sound, what I was saying earlier is that Dylan is controlling our remotely operated vehicle or underwater drone, which we call the Fish, with a pair of VR goggles. So as he looks around, um, the Fish also looks with him, which is pretty cool. And now we're back to Drew. Drew, how much longer do you think you're going to be down there for? Sounds good. We're going to switch for fish pilots. Okay. I'm going to leave you... Hang on, let me leave you in a good place. Yeah, and just when you take the garment okay. up, just hold them flat. How deep are we right now? I think I, found, I see his bubbles, though. I'm at 33 feet, and I yeah. found Drew. So right now we're at 33 feet, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, we can see that. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so this is a red rock crab we just had in sight. If y'all are curious, apparently the way you can tell these apart from other crabs is that they have really distinct black tips on the end of their pincers. So, fun little detail for y'all. Oh wow, yeah, it's a tire. You can see lots of life growing on it too, that's cool. Is there anything inside of it? Is there anything inside of it, Drew? Oh, let me take a look. Oh my god. suspenseful music. Oh, is that. Is that our red rock Ooh. crab? And how deep are we right now, Kelly? We are at 41 feet. Oh wow, so we're a bit deeper now. We're at 41 feet. Fish cloud. Oh wow. Can you see my view of what I see? Yeah, and the fish has a lot less lights than Drew's fancy camera, which is why the water is very green. Whereas when we go back to Drew's camera, you can see it's a lot better lit up. Black eyed hermit crab. Black eyed hermit crab, wow. That has no shell apparently. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in everyone.